All right. How you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. And they have done it. China has exposed themselves. China's virus success is a mirage that continues to deceive the West. Wuhan residents packed the city streets to bring in 2021. Social media was set ablaze last night with shocked and perplexed reactions to New York to New Year's celebration media coming out of Wuhan, China, which showed packed streets and citizens bringing in 2021 in an almost pre-corona fashion unparalleled in virtually the entirety of the Western world. The Wuhan celebrations were presented as a great source of national pride for China, who are projecting to the world that they alone have succeeded in conquering a virus that no one else has been able to get under control. As the virus case count continues to rack up across the West, China claims that its pandemic problem has been solved for many months. There they are. New Year's Eve, Wuhan, China. Packed in like sardines. Many were baffled to see China's unprecedented images and videos showcasing supposed success, supposed success in dealing with the virus, all without even having the need for a vaccine. Some were downright envious that the Chinese citizens were able to bring in the New Year freely and openly, hoping that one day it could be them too. They're just hoping that one day it could be them too, instead of just going out in the fucking streets and making it happen. Countless mask advocates and lockdown proponents lashed out at their fellow compatriots, complaining that if only these apparent barbarians had complied with the science and invoked some sort of Chinese cultural conformity in ensuring compliance, they too would be able to celebrate. Mm Mm-hmm. Those are the Cairns of the world. Watch out for them. Okay, here's the difference. There's Wuhan, New Year's Eve. Here's New York. You know, land of the free, home of the brave. Land of the wimps, home of the pansies. Where's you New? Where's all the New Yorkers? Where all, where's all the New York strong? There's Wuhan. There's New York. But, uh... De Blasio, he got out there and danced with his wife. China's in-your-face message to the world was as clear as day. Your country can be just like China and back open for business and conquer this sub-microscopic infectious particle, but only if you follow China's strict protocols. It's not easy, but there's a path to victory. There they are. Look at them. The Chinese Communist Party is selling the idea that this celebration in Wuhan was made possible because they defeated the virus. Through the country's strong-handed authoritarian policy response to the pandemic, proving both the superiority of their people and their system as a whole. Beijing has been happy to continue to deliver a roadmap of solutions to the rest of the world which includes further rolling lockdowns at draconian restrictions until the virus is under control. Just like in China. These restrictions have not been imposed in China for almost a full year. But Beijing claims that they did such a good job with the lockdowns that they never faced any additional issues. The aforementioned roadmap continues to be implemented as the main game plan to defeat the virus across the world. Some countries have instituted hard lockdowns and other punishing restrictions for hundreds of days with no success to be found. So why have these lockdowns, China's promised magic bullet, never worked anywhere else in the world? That's because China's response in Wuhan was pure pseudoscience. It didn't actually work. China did not eliminate a virus. The data about the lockdowns now tried in over 100 countries and having been instituted for almost a year shows that they do not work to eliminate a respiratory virus. The same goes with every other non-pharmaceutical intervention. In addition to contract tracing for the virus, 
The data on lockdowns are unrelenting and crystal clear in showcasing their catastrophic failures. China did not eliminate a virus. They successfully sold the image of eliminating a virus. Some will inevitably ask, if China did not in fact eliminate the virus, how is it that China is completely open and thriving during the pandemic? Ooh. The reason why Chinese society, and this is important, can be open and productive during the virus pandemic is simple. This virus is not particularly dangerous to an open society. And there you have it. The data tells us that around 99.9% .9 of infectees will recover from the virus. It is simply not the killer virus we were told it was. It is a disease that is not at all threatening to the working class who have been hardest hit by the healthy quarantines and indirect lockdowns across the West. Yeah, there you go. The virus is not dangerous enough to change any of our behaviors whatsoever, but it did anyway, because our leaders, our leaders, continue to advance a bill of misinformation and lies about its real danger to society. China did not defeat a virus, but it did. they did declare victory over the virus, told us they had virtually eliminated the virus, and then they moved on, just like we should do. China's disseminated falsehood has worked beyond the CCP's wildest dreams, so why stop now? They'll be motivated to continue to propagate these falsehoods about their stunning national success until the information operation is no longer useful and no sooner. If there's one thing we can borrow from China's real response to the pandemic, it's their post-Wuhan reaction, which showcases that the virus is not powerful enough to even consider a thought about reorienting society around it. And there you have it. This is just a load of crap. 99.9, .9, I think it's 99.96 percent recovery. Your immune system is better than any vaccine you're going to get. They pulled a fast one and now they have flat out put it out there that ha 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 we beat it. It's because there's nothing to beat. <laughs>